You know, Trump's calling for mass deportations if he gets reelected, y'all. He said the biggest deportations in world history. And at first, I didn't know what to think about that, you know. I was kind of on the fence about it. And Well, I got up on the DuckDuckGo and started doing some research and stuff to find out, is that necessary, you know? And it is, y'all. We're going to have to do it. Whether we like it or not, it needs to be done. Um, but um, the thing is, I think Trump's been being misinformed about about some things um, because he's wanting to deport the Hispanics and Latinos and stuff from from the, that's coming across the southern border from like South America and stuff, fleeing real bad situations and things like that. And he blames them for a lot of stuff. You know, he's he's like, hey, uh, they're they're in Aurora, Colorado. There's Venezuelan gangs and stuff taking over Aurora, and it turned out that wasn't true at all. It, it wasn't true. It just caused a bunch of problems for the people that live in Aurora because he was spreading that misinformation. And then then he done the same thing there in Springfield. Ohio, you know, saying that that Haitian immigrants were eating people's pets, you know, and that wasn't happening, and that caused big problems there. It's still going on. There's still big problems there in Springfield, Ohio, because of that. And it's not true. And he kept saying that those people aren't bringing their best and their brightest, and that they're coming over here and they're doing stuff to our kids and our women's and stuff like that, and unaliving people. And and I got up on the duck duck go was looking into it, and none of it's really true, y'all. Matter of fact, those people they say are least likely to commit crimes because they're afraid of being deported. You know, I said they're just over here trying to work and and make money for their families and stuff, y'all. So anyway, I started doing some more research into the duck duck goes and find out who are the dangerous people that he's talking about. He's just he's just misinformed. I think he's he's got the the people wrong. Um, he's confused. He does that a lot. He gets confused. Um, and I found out, you know, who the most dangerous people in this country are and have been for a long time, y'all. It's been right under our nose. Asians, y'all. Uh, but a particular type of Asian, y'all. It's the Caucasians. Caucasians, I think, is what they call them. Um, that, and it goes way back, y'all. Way, way back. Even before we even had a country, for real. Um, hey, those Caucasians, you know what they did? They kidnapped and enslaved an entire race of people for more than 200 years while simultaneously um, uh, dang near wiping out an entire population of indigenous people while they was enslaving other people, y'all. The Caucasians did that. Um, and you'd think that, you know, they learned their lesson and moved on. No, no, they're still doing horrible stuff to people all the time, y'all. Hey, look these schools and stuff like that that get pew pewed and stuff and all these poor little kids and stuff are losing their lives and it, and it happens in like movie theaters and malls and walmarts and stuff like that caucasians that are doing that it's always the caucasians that are doing that if you notice um and not only that um something else the people that stormed the capitol building and tried to overthrow our government caucasians it, it was the caucasians that did that too y'all um Hey, and hey, the only time that a Confederate flag has ever been walked into the rotunda of the Capitol building, Caucasians did it. It wasn't even done during the Civil War. But whenever they tried to overthrow our government on behalf of like that Donald Trump dude, Caucasians did it. Hey, matter of fact, you know what they also did while they were there? They took down the American flag over the Capitol building. Dang sure did. Disgraced the American flag, took it down and raised up a Trump flag. The Caucasians did that, y'all. The Caucasians. And... Um, they're always trying to attack women's rights. See, they the, took it away women's rights uh, to be able to, um, you know, oversee their own reproductive health and freedom and stuff. And now then women are like bleeding out in parking lots and stuff in hospitals because the doctors are afraid to take care of them out of fear of going to jail. You know, the Caucasians made that happen. The Caucasians made that happen. Um, even as recently as this week, those Caucasians was trying to take women's rights away to be able to vote, y'all. Even this week, they were trying to do that. Um, so anyway, um, Donald Trump's got it wrong. We do need to do some mass deportations, y'all, but not of the Hispanics and stuff. They're not really not doing anything. It's the Caucasians. It's always been doing that. Um, so I'm I'm down with it, you know. I'm down for mass deportations of the Caucasians because those are bad people, bad bad people. I'm surprised that we've let them in this country as long as we have. Um, so anyway, if you're if you're a Caucasian, you need to be ready, okay, because you need to be mass deported out of here because you you are a bad person. You, know, you do bad things. You support bad things. Matter of fact, all of the big hate groups and stuff in this country, like the, the, the Triple Ks and the Proud Boys and the Three Percenters and the Oath Keepers and the Moms of Liberties, the Minivan Taliban, 
Caucasians. They're all Caucasians, y'all. So anyway, if you're one of those Caucasians, be ready for mass deportation. Maybe maybe we'll send you over to Russia or something like that because they like Caucasians over there. From what I heard, it's 97% Caucasian. All right? So anyway, we'll fix this problem sooner, soon enough, y'all, and get rid of all the Caucasians, and then this country will be just fine. All right? Inmate Trump, 2024.